Welcome back, our boss, Conan O'Brien. I don't really think of myself as your boss. Really? No, I don't. Come on. I don't. Come I, don't. On. I think of myself as sort of like a emperor. Oh. You know? oh. Yep, 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 yep. An all-seeing, all-knowing, omniscient <laughs> oh. emperor who sits on a high throne. More like a god king. Yeah, sure. He gladly accepts the title. <laughs> Please welcome our God King, <laughs> Conan O'Brien, to the podcast. Being our boss or God King, mm -hmm. you know, we want to make sure that uh, Sonia and I are doing our part to make you cool. I didn't know that's what the objective was, but okay. I think what Sona is really saying is I didn't think that was possible. Well, with all of us combined, I think we can, we can make something happen. We'll try. I have a question for Sonia. You've seen some of my Clueless Gamers. Are you legitimately stunned at my lack of ability and knowledge in the gaming world. I'm impressed. You've definitely involved yourself in the gaming space. I feel like you're uh -huh. I feel like you're doing okay. You're on the right track. All right. Well, again, you're a very supportive person. I appreciate that. Uh so that is the encouragement I need. That's exact and that's the encouragement I don't get from Sona Movsesian. Yep. Yeah. Who's always putting me down and saying you're an idiot. Maybe <laughs> if you behaved a little more like Sonia, I would be more motivated. So just think about that. Let's get started. All right. So there was uh, a big Keep news item. Uh, Wait, sorry. What? Last word. Last word, Sonia. Last humble. word. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Last word. Come. Keep you humble. Okay. Go for it, Bly. All right. Be good. Okay. Sonia. So there was a. There, there was. Sonia. Okay. Okay. Yep. Keep you humble. Be like Sonia. There. There was be big. Like be like Sonia humble. to the tenth power. Over now. Let's go. Go ahead, Blave. Quickly, we're moving on. Um, Sonia and I are very excited about this because one of the best games of all time, The Last of Us, it is about the story of Joel, who is kind of a, a smuggler in a post-apocalyptic world. Oh, who is, God. A, he's, uh-oh. Is it always post-apocalyptic? Why is no one ever living in the year is 1998? Things are pretty good. There are some problems. But the economy is humming along and society moves forward. No one ever does a video game set in that reality. It has to be a post-apocalyptic landscape where the rules are, there are no rules and everyone's fighting for survival. Is that correct? <laughs> I feel like pre-apocalyptic just doesn't have the same ring. It doesn't have the same ring to it. How, well, okay, I know, but shouldn't someone at least try it? A video game about- <laughs> Going to the grocery store? Well, maybe like, that's just Animal Crossing. I don't, yeah, I don't know. I wish someone would create a game <laughs> where everything's okay on earth. And occasionally someone's like, oh yeah, my salt levels are a little high. My doctor says, <laughs> little less salt in the diet, little less cured meats and keep my water intake up. And that's about it. Some high stakes. Anyway, continue. So The Last of Us takes place in a post-apocalypse where there are zombies. Of course there were zombies. I think there's a law that Congress passed like eight years ago that you have to have zombies or you're not allowed to operate in the gaming or entertainment sphere. That's like a law that was passed because when are there not zombies? Well, seriously, there, zombies are now showing up in movies. I saw a production of On the Waterfront recently and it was with zombies. They're doing, you know what I mean? Death of a salesman. Willie Loman is a zombie. Yeah. It's everywhere. If we hadn't passed that bill, what would you, what could we have instead? Uh, yetis? <laughs> Ye yetis? Yeah, yetis. You know, the abominable snowman, the, a Bigfoot. Something, just does it always have to be a zombie? And guess what? They eat brains. When you have zombies over for dinner, you never, you know. You have them over no. for dinner. You have them when you have them over for dinner, you better have fucking brains, a big, a lot of brains in a bowl. No one's ever like, should we go Mexican? No, they're brains. We gotta have brains. It's the zombie, right, right. It's just, wouldn't they want to try Mexican? You just, you send them an invitation for dinner yeah. to your house. Okay. Yeah. And they come, and they come smashing through the door, even though I left it open. <laughs> And then I'm like, hey, guys, tonight I thought we'd mix it up. I tried tapas. <laughs> no, no, seriously. I know we, we have brains. We're thawing them. But just let's have to. <laughs> tapas. See? Mm, yeah, chorizo. Mm, squid ink rice. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's it's like mm, small portions. Yeah, bite size. It's nice, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Do you want the brains? I'm good. 
Mm. <laughs> and he's becoming Elmo. Mm, Elmo happy. <laughs> People put zombies in games because it's exciting. Like, it's exciting to fight zombies. How would you do against fighting zombies? Oh, I have it all figured out. I've talked about this a lot with Andy Richter. Oh. Oh. Yeah, we both have different plans. Andy uh, has a really good idea, which is, first of all, I don't know why in all these shows, they hang out in hot, humid climates to fight zombies. Right. Everyone knows the first thing you have to do is go to a very cold climate where zombies freeze, right? My plan was get to Denver Airport, the airport in Denver. Okay. Because what you want is a big, flat space because one of the last places you want to be is in a forest where a zombie can just come out from behind a tree. And I don't know why the people in Walking Dead decided, let's just hang in Georgia forever. <laughs> No, leave. You've got a car. In six days, you can be at the Denver airport. Then you can see for 100 miles in any direction. And what you can do is lure the zombies onto those walking sidewalks, you know, those sidewalks that move, and lure them onto those. So if, even if one gets through, you lure it onto that, and it's on that thing forever, walking the wrong way. And meanwhile, you have plenty of food, and the zombie's there for all eternity, walking in the wrong direction, and you're in, in Denver, which is not the worst place to be. I love how in depth you've thought this out. It's all I yeah. think about, Sonia. It's very detailed and honestly not wrong. You're sitting there munching one of those great giant pretzels <laughs> and the zombie's walking on the thing and going the wrong way, no harm to anybody. And he's getting an aerobic workout and you're, in, you're, you're good, everything's good. Do you think that you're just making him stronger? If he's just no. endlessly on the treadmill. That's a great, no. he's getting his cardio in. Yeah, but they can't build muscle mass because they're dead. So what's happening is eventually his legs are just gonna wear out and fall off. Oh. And then he's gonna be a torso that's just rolling <laughs> on that moving sidewalk in Denver. And you're like, hey, what's going on? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> hey, look, I'm headed down to Starbucks. Do you want something <clears throat> flat white? You want a flat white? I'll get you one. <laughs> Sona, what's your strategy? Do you have a zombie strategy? Have, have you also thought about this? Oh, just, no? I'll just die. I, I really don't <laughs> think I'll fight at all. God. I think I'll just give in, accept my fate. Like Ridiculous. No, first of all, I think your greatest weapon is your voice. You're very loud huh. and abrasive. Huh. I think the zombies would quickly leave. Just from me talking? Yeah, you'd be like, hey! What are you doing here? Oh, I had an idea. Wait, you want to meet my, oh, hold on a second. I'm getting a text. And they'd be like, oh, let's go. <laughs> uh. I'm so shrill. They'll just leave. So between the two of you, who do you think is going to last the longest? Me. Even, even when I'm not trying. Yeah. Sona's <laughs> going to last longer because she is a survivor. She is. She's a survivor. Yeah. I'm, I'm not even joking there. I think Sona survives anything that comes our way. Sona and Tack survive. And yeah. uh, I'm a redhead. I'm an odd, you know, sort of genetic outlier. Yeah. Uh, no one who sees me in person thinks I'm going the distance, so. <laughs> if, if it happens during the summer and the zombies don't get you, the, your sunburn will just end you probably. <laughs> Like it's true. any skin condition will get you before a zombie apocalypse does. It'll be heat stroke before any kind yeah, of zombie. It'll be heat stroke and you know, like a melanoma on some place where no one ever gets a melanoma. It was undiscovered. He has a melanoma on his bicuspid, on his tooth. <laughs> that stuff doesn't even seem possible, but it's spreading rapidly. Yeah, I don't know. Did you ever smile in the sun? One time I smile in the sun. Conan, do you think you would play The Last of Us? I'm gonna say that I will play the game. Great. There we go.